Hi everyone, I'm Lightbow Now. Welcome back to another episode of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. This is the closed beta. We are here picking up a little bit of ammo and stuff from the end of our last objective here. We're going to pick up the next one. You can see the marker on the thing there. 624 meters. We need to reach the ancient ruins. So, there's some bad hombres here. We're going to need to take them out. They are in our way, but I don't just want to open fire on them now. There was a train came across this train line earlier end of the last episode. Is that another one approaching? No. It's just the train lines disappearing into the distance. Quite a straight train line. Anywho. We need to get this all. The guys are moving. Now, if we got somewhere we've got a bit of cover. Maybe these rocks, these trees, perhaps? We have a pretty long-range rifle. We can start taking them out, I think. We've got 15 rounds in the magazine. That guy looks like the leader. I'm just shooting, hoping I'll hit someone. I don't know what level these guys are. If we get a headshot, then we get a instant kill. That's another one. This guy wants to close the distance. I wouldn't recommend it, my man. Level four, that's good. We've got two guys, I think. One guy left. One guy left. No guys left. Fine. XP and another skill point increase. I like it. So when we're looking through, it's interesting. It magnifies the icon as well. Ah, cool. I don't mind that. Right. We'll take the ammo. 7.62 ammo. That is for the sniper rifle. I shouldn't really be using that though because I have, as you can see, some assault uh, challenge objectives here in the top left, which are to kill enemies with assault rifles and shotguns. So that was a wasted opportunity, but nevertheless, we got to use a sniper rifle for the first time, and that was quite cool. What's this guy got? Something for us. More boots. We've already got some boots. I'll always take better boots, because, you know, this game's a little bit RPG. Don't really like that. But anyway, so first episode, guys, of the beta, we were having a look around um, some of the differences and new features in Breakpoint since Wildlands. Uh, I have a separate video on that. I'll, again, I'll try and remember to link to that up in the top right. Um, I'll try and jump in this vehicle in a second. You can see, I don't know why it's staying on the screen there, but bottom middle of the screen there was, I've just got rid of it, uh, your stamina bar, that's one of the new features. We've got a health bar bottom left, so if we get shot, we can now heal ourselves, a bit like Call of Duty. Um, that flashing bar to the left of the ammo counter is our... Um, uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's your class technique, I think. Um, so the more kills you get, the more you fill the bar, or XP you get, you fill the bar. And at the end, when it's full, as it is, and it's flashing, you can activate your class technique, which for me, with my assault class, is called True Grit. True Grit... Oh, I can't remember what True Grit does. What does it do? Remind me what True Grit does. Um, how do I get into my thing and see what assault does? True Grit. True Grit uh, gives you recoil reduction and damage resistance, kills, heal, and extend duration as well of True Grit, I guess. So that's cool. Technique, technique Gauge Filler kills and damage dealt to drones, kills with explosives, and close range kills all will fill the gauge. So that's quite cool, that's quite interesting. I am currently level 2 and working towards my objectives for level 3. And I guess this is showing me what I'll earn when I reach level 3, which is, what's this, a camo? Oh, weapon paint. MC, multicam. Multicam weapon paint. Okay. So there we go. Right, we're in the vehicle. We are heading towards our objectives. Sorry, I think I'm speaking a bit too loud or close to the microphone. I need to switch off. There we go my um, trigger, whatever it's called, the trigger thingy. Are we going this way, are we? Yes, we are. My trigger stop, which I had turned on because we're driving, and that does not help with it, uh, at all. Not one bit. Okay, driving is interesting. This doesn't feel like a very... It's making a lot of noise and not going very far, this vehicle. Whoa, there's a couple of guys up there. I'm going to be using our assault rifle to make sure we get these kills. Um, reach Twin Falls Mountain. Yeah, I've got to take these guys out. There's a crate over there I want to pick up. You can see that down here. And 
I want to be filling my get what now seriously I had pinned I had pinned this I'd already pinned this to here why is it why is it unpinned itself there we go so I need to kill another 10 enemies with assault rifles or shotguns this will be two because we are going to kill them And the other guy here. Yeah, let's go over the top. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did get him. I thought I got him. Oh, that was awful. There we go. And some skill credits, whatever the fuck they are. Who knows? Anyway, there's a crate here. Let's get the crate. So that's 7 of 15. The other things I need to do is to kill two enemies while using true grit. I could have just done that then. Never mind. Right, let's take a look in here. What is this? Are you going to open it, or...? Okay, there we go. It's an interesting, quite ornate crate, isn't it? Oh, good. 500 scale credits. Woohoo. I don't know what those are. I don't know what they do. Post a comment down below, guys, if, you've, uh, if you're playing the beta and you know what the scale credits are, or are for. I feel we're probably going to be earning a load of them, and they're going to be useless. In fact... I have this sneaking suspicion with this game that Ubisoft have very deliberately made it a lot more, hmm, what can we say, microtransaction-y than Wildlands. I think that might be what the scale credits have something to do with. Um, oh, discovered a province. Um, it might be... Oh, whoa, we've got a couple of crates here. Don't want to pass those by because you know crates are uh, good shit, right? Oh my god! Seriously, crafting in this game as well. Oh, Ghost Recon doesn't need this crap. Another thousand scale credits. Great. Great. Oh, we are right next to a question mark. What the fuck's a question mark? It's an undiscovered location, obviously. Um, how do we discover it? We don't have a drone. Get in the damn vehicle. What? Okay, it's, this beta does still have a few bugs. Uh, we found a few so far. There was a typo. There was um, some stuff not appearing properly. When we were trying to preview our... Wait, what? Where's the crate? It's below me? How do I get in there? I don't think I've got time to find out. Um, I think there are bad guys over there. Somewhere in that direction there are bad guys. Oh, there's one. Oh, we can shoot him through the thing. Got him. There was another one. Oh. Sorry, damn it. I didn't even notice the bullet was past his head. He gets shot and he doesn't really mind. It's interesting, isn't it? Oh, there's another one somewhere. Hello. Oh, should be using our assault rifle. There we go, that's another kill. Lovely. Right, let's get back in our vehicle. We'll take the other one, why not? No, not passenger. Seriously, game. Drive, yeah, I want to drive. Okay, we'll do it from a mile away then. Fine. Oh, boy. Right, so we're driving up here. Objective is how far? 1.4 kilometres. Oh, we've got a little way to go yet. I, I don't know if this is the right way, but I'm just going to assume it kind of is because it's in the right direction. Um, we've got a map we can check. Ah, okay, cool. So we've got fog of war, we've got discovered areas. Oh, what? Wait. We've got close, medium, three zoom levels. Oh, I don't like that either. 
I much preferred the analog zoom in Wildlands. There's a lot I prefer about Wildlands, I have to say. You're probably getting that impression. Ooh, 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 there's some guys here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a local. Oh no, that's an enemy as well. So we can true grit these guys. Let's reload and then go ham. Oh, that's something. Where's the last guy? Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Turn that bastard into a corpsicle. Challenge completed. That was sloppy. But it got the job done. What did we get there? A hand. Plastic gloves? Really? Wow. I'm going to swap out my Oakley SI gloves for... Sp not spastic gloves. Plastic gloves. Really? Okay, then. They're better, are they? They're better than... This is... This is why RPG leveled equipment doesn't make sense. It's bullshit. It's bullshit in Ghost Recon. Why the f fuck in hell would plastic gloves be better than having Oakley SI tactical gloves? Seriously. That's some shit, isn't it? <sighs> Fine. Ubisoft are never going to invite me to any events, are they? Right, okay. Moving on. What else do we need to do? Still got three enemies we need to kill with ARs or shotguns. We haven't got a shotgun yet. That's not how this ridiculous game works. Well, no, it is. In fairness, no, you just pick up something and you got it. Um, I'm guessing we have like an inventory of infinite stuff. Ooh, another crate. Let me guess. Is it below us? Yes, it's below us. Of course it's below us. Of course it's below us. How do we get there? No idea. I'm guessing down through here somewhere? What's this flashing? That red flash is going on somewhere. Um, somewhere under here I'm guessing you can get to the... Oh, maybe around here a little bit? Not sure quite why I'm wasting all this time going and having a look for this, but I am curious. So we have a ratatatty... Yeah, a horrible kick on that, but we knew that, didn't we? It's a... AK. Okay. So it's slow enough. There we go, we can get down here. Aha! There we go. A little secret location, guys. This better be something good. Oh. An LMG. Well, let's, um... Let's swap things we don't get any benefit or any not advantage or benefit, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, 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 bonus uh, using LMGs or sniper rifles, we only get bonuses using that using the assault class with um, assault rifles and shotguns. We'll keep an assault rifle equipped at all times and we'll have fun with the second slot. So that's our LMG now. So we'll reload our AR. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, well, that's fancy. Mm, very nice. Well, there's more of it coming out of the cave as well. Right, uh, how do we get back up there now? Let's run. Okay, so we've got an LNG. Obviously no suppressor. That fire's quite nice, I like it. But anyway, we're not here to use that. Oh, here we go, look. Uh, cool. Right, let's not run out of stamina. Very good, let's drive the whatever the car this was. We need to get to this objective. Reach Twin Falls Mountain. The trail leading to the Twin Falls Mountain starts behind the ancient ruins. Oh, okay. Take your word for it. Got some little rocks here. I was going to say stones. But oh, right, okay, the objective's appeared on the screen now on the map. It's above us. Wait, 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 I see another crate. I think we're supposed to go to the right here, but I'm just going to go left for a sec. 
Yeah, got another bit of a glitch flash in there. It is a nice looking game. I mean, it's not a patch, I have to say, on Red Dead Redemption 2, but it's a completely different engine. And I've got interesting stuff here, look. Uh, so what's down here? Can I go down here? I should let my uh, stamina meter refill, really, because I'm probably going to need a bit of it dropping down here. Oh no, we're okay. Oh, oh, bit of a slide. Once we start sliding, we're going to lose stamina. We're going to be screwed if we can't stop sliding as well. We want to go this way towards the crate anyway. Not down. Ah, hello. So we've got some nice transitions in this game. As he transitions and climbs across objects and stuff. Here we go. What's in this one? I'm going to get sick of it in these freaking crates. Oh, great. Skill credits. Okay. Let's get back up here. We climb up here. Okay, we can run up this. Can we climb up these rocks is the question. We're going to slip. Oh. oh. We're good, we're good, we're good. We Go on. Last bit. You've got to be able to make the... Yes. Look at that. Like a pro. All right, we'll take the vehicle. Get up this last bit of hill. Mountain, apparently. Twin Falls Mountain, no less. Here we go. Oh, we've got some vehicles here. It looks a good turn. Mm. What is that? Okay. I collected some Allianth. Right. For crafting, no doubt. Okay, is this like between some waterfalls? Because I ain't seeing no waterfalls. Oh, jeez, glitches though. No, no impressive waterfalls, but this is where we're going. Enter the cave, it says. Okay. What's the passive? Erewhon. Bivouac, what was that? Stop right there! <clears throat> Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? The cave. So we call it. Get in. Okay. I'm trying to ensure I don't make any references to the um, online technical test that I participated in because um, I'm, s well, perpetually under NDA for that, so I'm not allowed to talk about it. Um, however, our one, this will be interesting. So, reach the other surviving ghosts, find the survivors in Erewhon, right. So, what okay. is this place? So down, let's just turn on and off the interface, but we don't get a map, so, okay. Great. So this is a cave, basically. This is a huge cave with a big, big ass hole in the top of it, a bit like Anyone seen Airwolf? A bit like uh, the volcano type cave. It was a cave. It wasn't a volcano, it was a cave that they kept the helicopter in. Right, what do we do? Find the surviving ghosts. Talk to this guy. Are you boys alright or what? The only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. My mind's blown. Yep. I'm there for any more or less, but 
They're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tangled with some troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot-in-the-neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high-tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Can't wait. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I spotted at least three typos in that um, in those subtitles. LMG compensator. What? Weapon localized. SC20K. What? What the hell does that mean? Am I supposed to guess? Right, so this is like a social hub then. So we've got other guys here, other people. I saw when we came in it said press up to matchmake or something. PvP is now available on the objective board. No. no. Um, what's that down here? Faction leader? That must be the guy we just spoke to. Uh, objective over there. Something about LMG compensator was that? This LMG doesn't support a compensator though, so I know I saw that when we aimed down sight. Okay, so we need to go talk to the wounded survivor. He is in Erewhon's infirmary, which is here. Yes? Hello. Oh. Oh, day. How are you, man? He's alive, more alive than Weaver. No Shit. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. <sighs> Is that true? Here. Here's another superpower. Can't find Midas. But Weaver. Hey, you just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. You might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Um, 
That's not the most gripping dialogue, but... Okay. Right. New mission, no way out. Operation Greenstone. Equip a mission. Well, that is very interesting. Please tell me more. Ghost Recon Breakpoint lets you define your own objectives freely. Mm -hmm. Faction missions. Faction missions give you new challenges every day to help Aurora's people resist and get exclusive rewards as you progress. Hmm. Okay, like the daily challenges, I guess, in Wildlands. Equipment objectives. You can also track weapon blueprints, attachments and collectibles and get objectives to find and collect them. Now that's what I want to do. I really want to go hunting after these blueprints. Um, I did a, for Wildlands, I did a Let's Play, which was hundreds of episodes, literally hundreds of episodes, uh, also hundreds of hours, going through the entire game. I'm not really planning on doing that for Breakpoint. It's a lot of work, I won't lie. Um... I did do videos for every weapon and weapon accessory in the game. A little bit of info on them, where to find them, those kinds of things. And uh, you guys seem to really like those. So, blueprints in this game allow you to kind of permanently unlock a weapon and use it and keep it and give it an upgrade, a gear upgrade as you as you sort of progress through the game. That's my understanding of it anyway. I might do a separate video on that. So, blueprints are something I really want to hunt down in the game, and I want to be able to produce some videos for you guys to find out where those are, because we're all going to find guns that we want to stick with, and not necessarily play this through the RPG style, happy-go-lucky, pick up and use everything you get that's a new, higher level kind of gameplay. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. Ghost War PvP. Play in teams in PvP and experience intense online fights with the Ghost War mode. Uh, tutorial missions. Taught to Era 1's inhabitants to obtain tutorial missions and missions, of course. Start by equipping your next mission and progress in the storyline. Cool. Operation Greenstone. So that's the next one. Uh, find a way off the island. <laughs> Sounds simple. Game done, right? Wow. Um, okay. So, pin. Taught to Schultz. And... So Eagle Down is the mission complete. That's the one that we've done. So No Way Out is the next one. Pin it. Let's do it. Cool. Okay. So that's the main mission. Um, what do we do here? We're just scan around, I guess. Then objectives. Weapons. One weapon objective. Let me see this. Ah, Mount Hodgson blueprint for the SC-20K, SC-2000. No, SC-20,000. Hmm, interesting, okay. So, um, in the northeastern northeastern part of Mount Hodgson province, in Bold Peak Mine, north of Forden Wood, and east of Stagridge. This is basically giving us, like, a treasure hunt for blueprints. I quite like that. Ugh. Excuse me. Uh, there's been a lot I've can com I've sort of complained about with, you know, comparing Wildlands to Breakpoint so far. But treasure hunts, I like. Uh, I really like those in Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption Two. And yeah, this kind of thing. This is this is a bit of fun. So best in class of muzzle velocity, long reload. Interesting. So um, okay, long reload is a bullpup. Let's um, let's pin this, and we'll do that. It's an assault rifle, okay. So you can switch between all the different weapon classes here and see... Ah, so there are 62 guns in the game. It says here, Blueprint 062. Blueprints offer the possibility to buy weapons on demand at the shop. Okay, they might not be all they cracked up to be, but we'll see. Um, attachments are also... Oh my god, we've got to hunt these down separately as well. Shit. Okay. ASR is the assault rifle, I see, okay, so, yeah, right, handgun, HDG is handgun, LMG is LMGs, DMR, what's that, marksman rifles, that's what DMR is, I don't know what the D is, something marksman rifles, hmm, okay, SNR, um, sniper rifles, and then somewhere, SMGs, there we go, SMGs, so, ah, oh, interesting, so the LMG compensator, is in Fenbog. 
assault rifle compensator. Uh, su suppressor, sorry. We already have that, don't we? Rails, rail cover, scopes, TX5i. High zoom power value optic, yeah. As it was in Wildlands. Oh, interesting. Sniper rifle extended mags. So if we want, for example, then an assault rifle extended mag. There isn't one. This is everything we've got, I guess, then. These, they've got little ticks next to them. So we have 33 out of 89 attachments already, so the game gives you a bunch of them. Oh, wow, we've got all of this stuff already. Okay. I get you, I get you. I think I'm, I think I'm following. Um, I don't want the LMG compensator, so I'm not going to prioritise that. Not for the beta weekend, anyway. Investigations, what's this? Oh, okay. Oh, these are like side missions? There's more. Who sank the US military ship? Ah, there's clues. You've got to get clues. Unlock and complete Operation Greenstone. Mission No Way Out. Unlock and complete Operation Greenstone. Mission Back to the Basics. Okay. Okay, okay. I get, I, I get you, I get you. Cool. And then we can get clues, and then there's more. Okay, and then there's faction missions. Oh my god, staying safe. Faction missions. What are these? Uh, these like... Sentinel is building roadblocks and close, closing in error one. They must be stopped. Hack the computer. Oh, ah, oh, these are the daily challenges. So, you, uh, okay, 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 okay. All right, cool. Um, skills is flashing here. We got, oh my god, we got 13 skill points? What the deuce? So, it looks like if we unlock this skill, it unlocks this part of the tree. I'm not sure if that's true. And if we unlock both of these, it'll unlock this part of the tree. Will it tell us what these are? It does. A perk slot. Oh, equip an extra perk to power up and better define your place. Wait, we have to equip perks? I thought they were permanent. Hmm. Alright, we'll work out how that works then. Another perk slot. Right, so let me test this. Close and personal. Equip this perk to get this effect. Plus 15% reload speed, etc. Equip. Yes, you've got to equip these perks. <sighs> it's a skill point. I've got 13. I'm going to buy one. Right, so if I buy that, yes, that unlocks this. And it always oh, unlocked all of it. Okay, fine. So, weapons wise, Pistolero, equip this perk to get this effect. I'm not reading that every time, that's pointless, it's the same thing. Handgun, 15 semi-lift, but I don't, I'm not, we're not using handguns. 25% uh, maximum ammo. What else? Better dismantle. Oh, Christ almighty, this RPG bloody crafting crap. What else have we got over here that this unlocks? Uh, mark upgrade. Upgrade weapons to Mark II in the gunsmith to refine and customise them. Okay, that's quite worth getting. Um, then it says, the red bit, if you see, says unlock two elements from a connected node. Okay, and this is upgrade weapons to Mark III. That's cool. And what's this one? Pack Mule. 4% um, maximum ammo, 10% ammo pickup. Well, that might be worth having. It's only one skill point. And um, what was this? This is another perk slot. I think that's worth having, but I haven't worked out where the perk slots are. Um, let me go over here. Loadout. Here's the perk slots. So, close and personal. Ah, right. Well, I will equip it because it's the only one we've got. But I need to unlock these. So let these... Yeah, let's do it. There we go. So now we've got another perk slot. There it is. Okay, cool. Still got 10 skill points left. Let's spend. So, let's look at the tree. So, this is stealth. That unlocks gadgets and gadgets. We'll have a look at those in a second. That un unlocks more assault stuff, and we are the assault class, so that sort of might be good. This route gives you survival. We'll have a look at those in a moment and see what those are, but that will unlock more survival economy. Oh, God. And then... Weaponized vehicles? Yeah, this is all very interesting. All the stuff that they gave you for free in uh, Wildlands, they've kind of taken away from you and made lockable. 
in this game. This that also gives you tactics and more tactics. And this route gives you recon. I like recon. We may be spending our points over here. That gives you more recon. More drone stuff. And some sniper stuff, which I'm not interested in. So, hmm. Weapon marks. That sounds cool. Um, but maybe not for this beta. I might explore a different part of the tree in the open beta, if there is one. I think this is the closed beta. So let's uh, let's explore the left-hand side of the tree. So stealth. To unlock gadgets, we need to use... Yeah, this is all the same. Unlock two elements from the previous node. Connected node, so stealth. Slim shadow. Equip this perk to get plus 50 stealth. Harder to be detected and easier to vanish. Mm. Uh, automatic marking. 25 meters additional automatic marking. Oh, right. Mark all enemies in range. Cannot be used in Ghost War. But you have to have equipped. This is insane. So you can only... You, uh, you, uh, you can only have three things equipped at once. And there's loads and loads and loads of useful stuff. Okay, what else? What, uh, what else? Um, remote killer, press left B. What's this? Sync shot drone. Oh, sync shots. Are now done by drones because you're on your own. Remote killer, press LB to put on target. Hold LB to activate it. Unlock for crafting in Maria's shop. Right, we're probably going to want the sync shot. Sensor hack. 10% damage to drones. And 40% 40 uh, drone evasion. Harder for drones to detect you. Well, I think I want this, the sync shot, right? And what else? Slim Shadow. Auto Detection. These are all... Ah, see that doesn't say it's a perk that has to be equipped. This says equip this perk to get this effect. This does not. This one does. So, I don't, I don't want the sense hack. Maybe automatic marking. That means if I get close to enemies, they'll automatically get marked. That's kind of cool. Probably won't use it forever because there are better perks that we'll want. But okay, let's unlock that. We now get ooh stuff. Gadgets. Explosives Mark II. Upgrade versions of oh upgraded versions of C4, frag grenades, and mines. Improved damage and area of effect. Uh, unlocks for crafting and in Maria's shop. And that is not a perk either, so that's interesting. This one item capacity. Plus one item capacity. Uh, also not a perk. Explosive deck perk. This is a perk. 20% items area of effect. 20% explosive damage and 40% throw range. Hmm. The breach torch. Not a perk. This is just something you get. So that's quite cool. Hand deployable device. High temperature tech torch used to cut holes in wire fences. You may have seen that in the um, trailer. Interesting. Probably do want that, but yeah, we'll see. Is it worth me spending points here? unlock this. Let's see what's in here. We've got EMP grenades. Hand thrown explosive devices stuns nearby drones. Okay, so that's a stun grenade for equipment. Electronics. Um, plus one item capacity again. Drone scavenger. Scavenge more parts from destroyed drones and shop clearance. Consumables are 50% cheaper in Maria's shop. Right, okay, so I'm not particularly interested in all of that. Assault. Let's take a look. Got eight points to spend. Gorilla. This is another perk. Uh, for every hit with a shotgun, 10% damage resistance and 20% health regen. Uh, rocket launcher. This is not a perk. This is just a thing you get. Unguided explosive missile. Unlocks for crafting and in Maria's shop. Interesting. Healing pouch. Plus one syringe capacity. Uh, and adrenaline. This is a perk. Um... After a CQC kill, health restore. Instantly heal back some of your health. Huh, interesting. We haven't got any CQC kills yet. Okay, and this would unlock what? Another perk. Feel no pain. Relentless. Cannot reach critical injury levels. 25% <laughs> um, injury resistance. That could be a really useful perk. Cannot reach critical injury levels. Why would you not want that perk permanently equipped? Uh, this is another syringe, I think. Yep. Um, another perk. 30% damage, minus 30% damage resistance, minus 30% heal, uh, health regen delay, and 100% health regen speed. Hmm, that's quite cool. 
and syringe mark two self-use faster healing even faster healing removes some injuries hmm interesting i really want this right we're going for that so which two do we need to get not using shotguns rocket launcher maybe don't really do the cqc kills that much let's get the rocket launcher for fun shits and giggles why not um Uh, I guess a syringe is going to be more use. And then we definitely want this. Right, so now... If I'm not insane... We're going to equip this. Cannot reach critical injury levels. I'm like a super soldier. Like Captain America. Okay, uh, there was also this down here. Do I want to unlock a third perk? I probably do. That's four skill points. Wow. We've only got five left. So let's have a look at survival up here. Oh, Jesus. Craft advanced rations. Piss off. Um, stamina regen speed? That's useful. And that's not a skill. I want that. Um, equip this perk. This is another perk. Burst forth. Movement 10% movement speed, 75% stamina regen, and tireless. 20% stamina cost. Hmm, interesting. That unlocks more survival. Slide control. Ooh, less stamina used when sliding. We haven't done much sliding yet. So literally about half a second of sliding, but you can see in the little video it kicks up dust when you slide. It also reduces all of your... Um, if you watch the video, he's just sliding and sliding and sliding. You can't stop until you get to the bottom, and it reduces your stamina. If you run out of stamina while sliding, you start tumbling and rolling and getting hurt and injured. It's not great. Uh, rations level 3, craft extreme rations in the bivouac Speed climber Speed when going up slopes Ah, oh, that's cool And water filter Fill water bottle in swamps and salt water Ooh Plus 2 water canteen capacity And that's not, a, that's not a perk either That might be worth unlocking I'm not sure that I necessarily need a third perk For 4 points right now I do want this though, stamina regen speed Hills to the yeah, and then if I wanted well any of this or this, I need to unlock something else. This is another perk. Let's burst forth. That's not a perk. Minus twenty percent stamina costs. Yes, please. I don't care about crafting, <laughs> as you might tell. Okay, yeah, I'm having that one. That unlocks all of this. Ah, we unlock tactics as well. What else have we got? Specialised item carrier, plus one class item carrier. Oh, that's interesting. The class items for assault, for example, is your gas grenade. So that's saying, uh, carry another gas grenade. Inspire, this is another perk. Health restore. Instantly heal back some of your health. It's a perk, though. This is not a perk. Technique accelerant. Technique recharges faster. Technique cooldown. What technique? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, your class technique. Yeah, like, um... Um... Whatever the... Alright. What? Um... Oh, I see. We, we, we discuss... What? What am I doing here? I'm talking to Schultz, right, so I can either... No way out, main mission, find a way off the island. What, is it... Are these topics for discussion? Side mission. Ghosts of the past. as a new mission. Or discuss... What? Fuck me. Tutorials. Very helpful. Until you need one. Go on then. How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? 
Yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <sighs> well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. Alright, I guess that'll do, I mean, our objective pins are full, so I mean we could talk to him about the side mission, but we can't pin it, unless we unpin something else. I'm thinking. Um, no. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. What we'll do is we will stay here in Erwan for the end of this, come back for the beginning of the next episode, finish talking, and then we will leave and go do some stuff. So, guys, it's been an interesting look around the game. Um, my recording software has been particularly annoying this episode. I apologise, but I hope uh, it caught everything. <laughs> Uh, if you're enjoying this beta and you want to see more videos on Breakpoint, I will be releasing them when the game comes out as well. Loads, because I've got it pre-ordered and it's out in less than a month. And yeah, please subscribe if you want to see those. Don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.